life struggles, happy moments, bad times, and unforgettable memories. Join us as we talk about our lives and share a laugh or two with us as we bring you along on our crazy journey called life. Welcome, Welcome to Two Wives, One, one world. world. Hello, welcome back to Two Wives, One World. It's been a hot second since we talked to each other last. Hey everybody, I'm Cass. And I'm Nikki. And we are super excited for this episode because it's a throwback video, which means we are going to be reminiscing like crazy. And who doesn't love reminiscing over old pictures and memories? I I know I do. And I don't know about you, but I feel all the feels. Whenever I think back to, like, high school and middle school. So this video is probably going to be crazy, to say the least. And I think it's going to be one of our best videos just because we've shared so much together. Oh, I agree, 100%. We have so many old pictures from, like, middle school, the beginning of high school, like... And if you watch us on YouTube, I'm going to be putting those pictures into the YouTube video. So oh, definitely, I, I would check out the YouTube video. Yes, and that'll give you the visuals too. So later in the episode, whenever we do talk about pictures, you'll actually have the video or the picture to look at to kind of connect with what we're saying, so you can kind of feel like you're a part of the memory, which is super exciting. I'm exciting. Oh, can you cut that part out? You're excited? <laughs> no, I'm. I'm so leaving that in there. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm exciting. But anyway. (laughs) It's like, hello, I'm sadness. I'm joy. (laughs) Sorry, everyone. (laughs) But with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into our first little segment. And that's going to be, what do we miss most about school? Now, Nikki, I'm dying to know what you're missing the most about school. So I think the thing I miss most about school is... Just, like, being with my friends all the time, all day long. Because, I'm not going to lie, in high school, I feel like we really just, like, goofed off all the time. Oh, I agree. Like, I didn't care what my grades were. All I wanted to do was, like, hang out with my friends. And that's so bad now because I'm a teacher and I didn't care about my grades in high school. (laughs) (laughs) That's okay. I think we all kind of go through it. And I don't know about you, but... I was very boy crazed. So all I cared about were my friends and my boyfriend at the time. So my grades were down the pooper too. Don't feel bad. I just think it's so funny because like I graduated high school with a 2.9 GPA and I so could have got so much higher than that. So much better. But we kind of learned from it, right? Yeah. (laughs) Because like my college GPA was like a 3.4. Me too! Yeah. Nice! (laughs) Hey, at least we bounced back, right? Exactly. It just kind of shows that even though, like, like, just always kind of push yourself to do the best. Agreed. And I think that, I think we both kind of learned that from high school. Definitely. So, what do you miss the most about school? Uh, it might be kind of weird, but I think one of the things I miss the most about school is getting your class schedule and like calling all of your friends and being like, oh. okay, hey, do, do we have lunch together? Do we have yes. classes together? I miss that. I really do. And seeing what teachers you got and just kind of lay out, laying out your, your schedule for the year and getting prepared. And I miss that. And the pretzel sandwiches. Oh, Yes. I miss those pretzel sandwiches more than anything. If anybody went to Dubois <laughs> High School that listens to us, um, I don't remember. I think it was every, like, Wednesday or something. They had sandwich day in the cafeteria. Yes. And you can make your own sandwich. So you, you got to, like, pick your own bread, your meat, your cheese, all that stuff. Well, Cass, would you like to describe the sandwich <laughs> that you and I always made? Okay, so envision this. A pretzel bun. Turkey. Some cheddar cheese and spraying some nacho cheese onto that bad boy. <laughs> pickles on the side, though. The we never oh, put yes. the pickles on the sandwich. Pickles on the side. <laughs> Guys, it was delicious. And I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's because we 
got it from school or if it was that nacho cheese, but I'll tell you what. The nacho cheese that we always snuck onto our pretzel bun. <laughs> you were supposed to pay like 50 cents for a cup of cheese, okay? Cass and I would always like sneakily squeeze the cheese onto our sandwich and just like hide it. We never got caught. <laughs> never got caught. Thank the Lord. He was on our side. Sorry, guys, dear boys high school. Yeah, oops, sorry. <laughs> But those sandwiches, guys, were so good. And I every every time Nikki and I talk about, like, what we're craving and stuff or what food we want to have, we're always like, oh, if we could just go back and get one of those pretzel sandwiches, we totally would. Oh, yes. We should try to recreate those sometime. L- oh, that would be a perfect video. It would be. That would be amazing. Guys, do you want to see us recreate our signature pretzel sandwich? Let us know in the comments down below because... They were fire. And you don't want to miss that. Like, you need to make it your own. Yes. You need the recipe. You need to do it. It's (laughs) going to change your life. Trust me. (laughs) But with that being said, go to outfits, hairstyles, makeup. What what was the go to fashion statement? Okay. What was it? Are we talking middle school or high school? Let's talk about whatever one you think was I don't know funnier or more just cringy like, what the heck yes <laughs> yes because was more cringy that is so my middle school <laughs> days oh. <laughs> so in middle school I I have naturally curly hair and for some reason I hated my hair back in the day so I always straightened it and this was before like my swoopy bangs were what they were because they used to be amazing that's all Fire. I say <laughs> so I was still trying to like get my swoopy bangs the way I wanted them. So I had like this awkward bang bang gap going on. Uh, straightened hair that was like frizzy because I didn't know how to straighten my hair, obviously. And then I would wear like hurl do you remember Hurley? Like it was a surfing brand. Yeah. I would wear like those tank tops with like a baggy um zip up coat and like these ug- the ugliest jean they weren't capris they were like bermuda shorts <laughs> i don't understand why i thought that was a good look i think everybody kind of did that's the sad thing yeah that's true and like i was so into like name brands back then and now i don't care where my clothes come from as long as they're cute and like they make me feel confident. I don't care where my clothes come from. Yes, I agree. They could be from Goodwill if- for all I care. Right? Goodwill low-key is the best place, though. You can find stuff all the time at Goodwill. Mm-hmm. I'm there for it. I'm here for it, honestly. So what was what your... About your make- oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was just saying, what about your makeup? My- like, oh. what, <laughs> what was your go-to makeup routine? So this was before I knew how to do makeup. Um, I actually don't remember too much about it because I know in middle school, like, I wore glasses a lot, so I didn't really focus on my makeup. I just remember that I always had to have eyeliner, and it's so cringy now to think about because I never wore mascara with my eyeliner, and I have (laughs) the blondest eyelashes. (laughs) (laughs) It was so bad. That's hilarious. I love it. (laughs) And then do you remember... And was it high school or I think it was middle school. I remember looking at you and I was like, Cass, I love your makeup. And you just had like a crap ton of eyeliner on. Yep. Eighth grade. It was eighth Eighth grade. grade. (laughs) I remember that. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. I was like, thanks, girl. That's all. Thank you. It was like panda eyes were back. Right. And nobody cared if you used a whole stick of eyeliner as long as it was there and it was dark. Mm-hmm. So that was dark. the most important thing. <laughs> that, and then I remember I used to use, like, there were these big, they kind of looked like mega pencils of, like, glitter eyeshadow that you would literally just take the pencil and wipe on. And I used to use, like, this silver glitter, and I used to just pack it on. And it was just, like... <laughs> and then I would use, like bunch of powder on my face and it was just bad it was bad and now I'm like looking back at it and I'm like ooh, 
I mean, I wear so much more makeup now than I did back then, but, like, I actually know how to do my makeup now, so. <laughs> we know how to make it look more natural than just, you know, little black lines on our eyes and oh glitter gosh. all over the place. It's just like, oh, my. But my go-to hair was, honestly, using the wet, excuse me, <laughs> using the wet to straight straightener. And I would just, it was either I would straighten my hair or I would just do nothing with it. Like, that's what it was. It was, my hair was always down. I didn't like to wear my hair up very much. So that was pretty much my hair. And then for clothing, same like you, I love the zip up jackets. I needed a (laughs) zip up jacket. And I liked, um, I really liked jeans with as many holes as you could possibly fig- put on a pair of jeans. Oh my gosh, that makes me think of that picture where we made those um, breast cancer awareness tank oh. tops with the jeans that we wore. <laughs> we will oh, be no. reacting to that picture later, so don't worry, you will see it. Oh, that was bad with the hole the whole way up my leg. You guys don't want to miss that picture. It's uh, it's something else. It's great, though. <laughs> um, but this is something that I didn't do very much. I think I might have done it, like, once or twice. But it was, like, the in fad was, like, Sophie shorts and then sweatpants over the Sophie shorts. But oh, my rolled. gosh. Yes. So you could see the shorts that were, behind, like, below your sweatpants. It was, like, pants on the ground central like you know that song that's like <laughs> pants on the ground pants on the ground looking like looking a like a with fool with your pants song. on the ground <laughs> that was our high school anthem oh <laughs> do you remember was, people used to walk around and pants each other yes i feel like that's what started it because like the kids in our school would walk around and pull your pants down so and you'd have a pair of shorts on to help yes and then it just became a like fad a fad I don't, I think, like I said, I think I only ever did that, like, one time. Oh, I used to do it all the time. But I, I remember it. I remember it like it was, it was yesterday. I still wear Sophie shorts. I just wore them to work today under my dress. Nice! <laughs> That's awesome! They're so comfortable, like, if you ever wore them, you just, you know how comfortable they are. They're nice. I need a new pair. I think I have a pair of gray ones, but they're kind of old, so I need a new pair. Go to Kohl's. That's where I found mine at. Yes. Oh, and another thing. Silly bands. <gasps> oh, Do you remember yeah. silly bands? We were just talking about these. Yep. They were the bracelets that were like rubber bands kind of, but that when you took them off your wrist, they like made different shapes or like sayings. And it was awesome. Everybody had silly bands. And I'm talking the whole way up their arm too. Yes. Do you oh remember my gosh. the bracelet the colored bracelets, like the they weren't silicone. They were like plastic bracelets. And yes. each one meant a different thing. Yep. And yeah. everybody wanted those too. I'm yes. actually going to look on Amazon and see if silly bands are even on here. Oh, that would be I hilarious. I, I love it. What kind of silly bands did you have? I know I had like one that said like LOL and <laughs> I had like a baby for some reason, like a little girl band. I don't freaking know. I think I just had animals. Animals? I think I did animals. But uh, anybody that's listening, you could do 60 silly bands for nine ninety six and 144 silly bands for ten forty six on Amazon. They're both Amazon Prime. Oh. So if you want to hit it up and, and reminisce a little bit, you can go ahead and buy those. That's a steal. Those were the thing. They were the, oh, they're Shrek ones. Oh, I need those. I love Shrek. Oh. I'm obsessed. Oh, Marvel ones. I love it. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's basically for me, those were like the big like fashion things, the sweatpants, the silly bands, the, the pant, the sweatpants. And remember when people would wear like the sweatpants that had like a saying across their butt, but they would roll the bottoms to make them like sweatpants, capri pants. Yeah. Do you remember those? And then those you would wear me. like the Adidas um, flip flops, but they weren't flip flops. They were like the, they were sandals because they had like a yes. band across them. And yes. They, and they became so uncomfortable, but we wore them anyway. We wore them because we wanted to fit in. That's yeah. the thing. Now looking back on it, I'm like, why did I ever do that? <laughs> Right, I know. And what else did we... Oh, those shoes. You remember those shoes that were, like, they had buckles on them, but they had no back? Yes. And 
stepped on the back of them, they hurt so yes. bad. <laughs> Comment down below name. if you know the shoes I'm talking about. Yes, because I can't think of the name, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Everybody wore them. Everyone. Oh, man. Moccasins were real big. Yeah. Oh, my. It's so crazy thinking back, because now it's like... Why? Like, why would why were certain things popular? And now things are coming back in style, like Crocs. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of people what? are wearing Crocs now. It's Disney had Disney Crocs out whenever I was there. Oh my gosh! It's like it was real popular in like 2007, and then it slowly started to decline. And now all of a sudden it's like skyrocketed sales again. I'm just like shaking my head, like what? And like what is happening? Do you remember, well, obviously you don't remember because we weren't born in the 80s, but, like, in the 80s, jean jackets were really big, and jean jackets are coming back now. They are back in style. What else? I have a jean jacket. I wear mine all the time, actually. I have a jean jacket, too. Um, wearing your hair half up, half up, half down. Yes, with scrunchies. Yep, scrunchies. I love my scrunchies. I need some more. I think I only have, like, three. And then I remember chokers were back in for a while. Yes! Oh, my goodness. It's like, uh, whenever things like that happen, it makes me feel like, oh, crap, we're back in middle school or we're back in high school. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as far as fads and stuff go, uh, comment down below. What was, what was your favorite fad? What do you wish would come back in the style? What do you wish would stay back in the day? And what do you wish was not in style now yes (laughs) yes 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 we're dying to hear it we are dying to hear so since we're talking about like outfits and makeup and hair what was your favorite tv show or like musicians or movies or whatever Ooh, well i really liked full house i loved full house um, as far as bands go, I liked Jonas Brothers. Mm-hmm. We both loved the Jonas Brothers. We did. And High School Musical, man. High School Musical was the movie to watch. Oh, I like, loved High School Musical. If you hadn't seen High School Musical, then you obviously were living under a rock at the time because there were Troy Bolton heart necklaces at Claire's. There were folders. There were backpacks. There were shirts. There was everything High School Musical. It's like you couldn't get away from it. Mm-hmm. High School Musical, and I like Jump In too. The movie Jump In. That was oh, with good Corbin one. Blue. Yes, you I love that one. Obsessed with him. I really did love him. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him, guys. It was bad. I was obsessed with him. I had like. His posters everywhere in my bedroom. But, of course, also the Twilight movies. We both loved the Twilight movies. Oh, my gosh. The Twilight movies are my favorite. But we will talk more about that. Yes, because there, there's a whole story <laughs> behind the Twilight movies. Yes. And I think that's it. I mean, I really, really loved Full House. And I loved High School Musical. Just like I feel like every other teenage girl loved High School Musical. Yeah, Zac Efron. But I don't blame them. No. I mean, do you blame them? No. Zach Efron's <laughs> still, like, me and Justin always talk about if there was one celebrity we could both pick to, like, not cheat on each other with, but, like, have a pass at, mine uh-huh. was Zach Efron. Hands down, I love Zac Efron. Oh, he's a man. He's a man. But what about you? What'd you like? Well, you know, my favorite TV shows, that's so hard because I watch tv i watch a lot of tv shows um i'd have to say anything on mtv i watch mtv like all the time like room raiders cribs oh what else was on there like how about um what was the one um parental or parental control oh control yeah parental control that was a good one yes and next do you remember next Next, with the bus oh my gosh I used to watch those a lot, and Hannah Montana was, like, I loved Hannah Montana. Great. Because even though I was, like, a middle schooler going into high school, I still liked watching kids shows because I still watch kids shows and I'm 24 years old. (laughs) I mean, I don't blame you because they're good. 
Yeah. And uh, music wise, Jonas Brothers. Hands down. Oh, yes. Who oh, didn't yes. love the Jonas Brothers, honestly? Come if at me if you didn't. Right? If you're listening to our podcast and you didn't like the Jonas Brothers, uh, you might as well just leave because we're, I'm sure we're going to be bringing them up again in the future. Mm-hmm. I listened We'd to love them. I had all of the Hannah Montana CDs. All oh, of them. The High School so Musical good. CDs. Um, I was really into All American Rejects was another Ooh. band that I really liked. All Time Low. I liked every kind of music back then. I mean, I still do, but I listen to everything. Oh, I'm trying I miss to... it. I know. Me too. And movies-wise, like you said, High School Musical, Twilight. Um, I remember the, this one movie, and it's really funny because you went with us. Um, me, our friend Shayna, and Cass were all going to go see this movie. It was called... Oh, what was it? It was with Gerard Butler and Katherine Heigl. Oh, the Just, Ugly Truth. The Ugly Truth, yes. Yes. So, it was a rated R movie. We were all, oh. like, I think we were 15 at the time. Shayna and I showed up before you did, and they didn't card us to get in. So, we just walked into the movie theater. Well, then Cassidy <laughs> shows up, <laughs> tries to get in, and they card her. So her dad has to come into the movies with her (laughs) because none of us were 18 and Shayna and I were sitting like near like the middle of the theater and you show up and you're like, yeah, my dad's in the back. They carded me. Yep. (laughs) So Cassidy's dad's sitting in the very back of the movie theater while the three of us are sitting there watching that movie. I seriously, that was, I like that movie too. Oh, that was a good movie. And that was a good time. Thank you, Dad, if you're listening, for taking the L and watching the movie with us. I mean, he was by himself. He didn't even sit with us. I know. Your dad is amazing. If it was now, Dad, you better sit with us. I'd be offended if you wouldn't sit with us. Same. I agree. Well, we should go see a movie with your dad sometime soon. Yes! (laughs) Do it! So... I think that's it for me. Like, I can't really think of any other TV shows except for, like, oh, yes, I forgot about this one, and I just started watching it again on Hulu. Kim Possible. Oh, that, a great show. Hands down, great show. I play it on Hulu every morning when I'm getting ready for work because oh, I just love it. And I just found a Disney pin that's Kim Possible from Disney. I'll have to send what? it to you later. Yes, it's yes! amazing. My ringtone is Kim Possible now. Girl, you're obsessed again. I, I am. It. I feel I'm like for it. I feel like I'm 12 again with all my oh, Kim Possible swag. That is awesome. I wish we were. And another thing is about all of this is like I feel like we'd remember if we if we had visuals of stuff. Like if a show came on, it's like, oh my gosh, I used to watch that. But it's hard to like sit here and try to remember. Yeah. Like it's insane. What wasn't? It? Oh, the Proud Family. Do you remember that show? Yes, that was a good one too. I watched They're the, bringing Proud the Proud Family, Family back. Are they really? They're bringing it back, yep. I didn't know that. And Lizzie but, McGuire, they're bringing Lizzie McGuire uh, back? Yes, on Disney+. Plus. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. Oh, about the Proud family. People are saying there are conspiracy theories. So apparently, like, the artwork for the new show is, like, Penny Proud sitting on the couch. But there's, like, a picture of Sugar Mama on the wall behind her. So people are like, if Sugar Mama is dead, I'm, I'm throwing hands. Like people are like, I'm not watching it. I'm going to beat someone up. If Sugar Mama's not in the show. I so mean, hopefully she was a big part of it. She was, and she was funny. <laughs> oh man. Now I want to watch proud family. Guys, what was your favorite? Tell us what yours was. What were your favorites? Yes, please. I'm dying to know. Let us know all of your favorite TV shows, music, whatever. I'm dying to know. So, since we're talking about movies and stuff, do you want to talk about the Twilight movies? Absolutely. But before we even get into the Twilight stuff, I, I our listeners, I'm sure, are dying to know, are you Team Jacob or Team Edward? Oh, this is such a hard question for me. So, I read all of the books multiple times. And, like, absolutely, 100%, if I was Bella, I would have picked Jacob. But, like, I don't blame you. I also understand why she picked Edward. Like, I'm Team Switzerland in a way. <laughs> That's great. Okay, how about back in the day? Were you Team Edward or Jacob? 
I was Team Jacob. Team Jacob. Taylor <laughs> Lautner, baby. He, oh, Taylor Lautner. I have a, oh, an old picture of me, because I had, like, two of his posters on my wall, and I have a picture of me licking his abs <laughs> <laughs> on my wall, like, just a piece of paper, you know? <laughs> Every teenage girl's dream. Every teenage girl's dream. That including me. Yeah. Even though I was Team Edward. You were Team Edward. I was Edward. Team Edward. I loved Robert Pattinson. I just. <sighs> He's going to be the new yeah. Batman. Did you see that? That is insane to me. Mm-hmm. Edward Cullen is being Batman. Right. Don't you have a wife and a daughter to get back to? <laughs> so. I'm confused. Do you remember those shirts we bought? At FYE. Yes. Yours was yes. Edward and mine was Jacob. <laughs> yes, it literally had their faces on it. Literally had like half of Edward's face. And yours had like half of Jacob. I wish we could find that. Oh, we might actually have that picture on your one Facebook album. We might. I think we do. Shirts. I'm excited to see that one. I hope it's on there. But we were so proud of those shirts. Oh my gosh. So, so I think proud. I think we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. So... The first Twilight movie. Yes. Do you remember, like, what we did? No. <laughs> I, <laughs> so, I get them all mixed up. <laughs> oh, I, got, I know. So, this was, like, when midnight releases were such a huge thing back at the movie yes. theater. And Cass and I went to go see every Twilight movie together. Uh, at midnight. Every time. Yeah, I don't know why midnight. our parents let us do it. I think it was, like, on a Friday. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> we um we went to the movie theater. I think we were freshmen. Were we freshmen in high school? Or was I it 8th so. grade? It was 8th grade because there are five movies and the last one was our senior year. Yes. So, in 8th grade, we stood outside of the movie theater for like 3 hours waiting Literally. to get in. Not knowing if we had a ticket or not. <laughs> so we stood there for three hours in the freezing cold because I think it was in like November or December or something. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure your dad brought us like hot chocolate or something. Yes, he did. I thought so. Yep. yep. So we did that for Twilight. We did that for New Moon, which was the second movie. Uh, did we do it for the third one? I think we did it for the third one too. Oh, yeah. But every year we waited more and more time because we were like, we have to be first in line. Yep, we had to. And if we weren't, it's like, all right, all or nothing. Like, is it even worth it if we're not going to be the first ones? In? Right. <laughs> and so for the, I think for the third movie, we were actually first in line at that point. Because then we had Breaking Dawn Part 1, oh. which we didn't have to wait in line for, which was so weird to us. Yeah, because you, that was really weird. You had to pre-order your tickets and then go in. Mm-hmm. And that kind of stunk because it's like, I looked forward to that. Yeah, I did too. I like doing that. I feel like people don't do that now. Yeah, you don't have to. You kids today are missing standing in line for three to four hours in the freezing <laughs> cold outside of the movie theater. Without smartphones. Yeah, without smartphones. We had our so dumb can- phones. You couldn't sit there and be on Facebook the whole time. We just sat there with our regular flip phones and entertained ourselves. <laughs> and talked to each other. Lucky kids. We Literally. actually knew how to talk to each other back then. Yeah, for real. We knew how to have fun with our electronics. But anyway, so we get to the Breaking Dawn Part 2. Yes, please. Please tell this story. Okay, so should I use names or should I just leave it anonymous? I would just leave it anonymous. All right, we're leaving it anonymous. I don't even know if this person would remember. Probably not. So, Nikki and I go to, to McDonald's to get something to eat before the movie. Because, you know, hungry. And this kid that was in our math class was there. And he was just... They were just getting off work. <laughs> so, they basically, like, invited themselves along to go with us. And we get there and stand in line... Wait, do we have to go to their house first? I think we went to their house first. I think so, too. And then to mine. Yep. We get into the movie theater after waiting in the cold and sit down. And this person says, oh, my God, I don't have my glasses. I'm not going to be able to see the movie. 
Yeah. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It was literally 20 minutes before the movie started. Literally. So Nikki and this person, I stay and save our seats. Nikki and this person drive all the way back to his house, their house. <laughs> And go all the way back to the movie theater, and I didn't know if they were going to make it back in time. I really didn't. Oh, I but was you speeding. did record time. I was like, "Girl, how are you guys already back?" It's because I was going like fifty-five and a thirty-five. Oops. But hey, it was worth it. It was for the movie. Exactly. I didn't get caught. And we sobbed during that movie. Oh my gosh! So if you've ever watched, if you've ever watched Breaking Dawn Part Two, you know that there is a part in this movie. Where everybody dies. Everyone. And we didn't know what was going on. No, so me and Cass are literally sitting there, and the first person to die is Carlisle, the dad. And we literally just, like, I remember we were holding hands, and I squeezed your hand, and we both just started crying. Crying. And then one of the wolves die. Seth. Do you remember? Seth. Oh, I loved him. He, I remember you holding my hand and going, no, Seth, and just crying. <laughs> and I was like, girl, I know. <laughs> Do you know that that's Boo Boo Stewart that's on Descendants? That plays Jay? What? Yeah, that's the guy that played Seth in Breaking Dawn, part two. Oh my well, gosh. All the Twilight movies. Dang. Right? I guess my heart is just so used to seeing him as that character where it's like, I don't believe that he could be anybody else. <laughs> It's like, that's the only rule you get for the rest of your life. Agreed. <laughs> but it was fun, guys. We really had a good time. And if there's a movie that you guys have stayed and waited out and went to go see, let us know. If they would have done midnight releases for Fifty Shades, we would have been there. 100%. We, we would have been there. Did we go see all the Fifty Shades together? I feel like we did. I'm trying to think. The the. I, we definitely saw the last one, and we, de- you know, I think we did see them all together. Because I think we went to go see the first, second, and third one together. I'm almost positive we did. Who was I with? I don't remember. Anyways, they wouldn't go with me. Whoever this person was. Oh uh, yeah. Me. So we went together. Yeah, because, which was probably more fun. I mean, honestly, I'd rather go watch those movies with like my best friend than my husband just because like I don't know it's almost like ah, if you it's watch, awkward yes if you watch the movies you under, like you should understand what I mean like they're just movies that you don't want to sit next to your significant other and watch in a movie theater right with all sorts of people around you it's just like uh this is awkward yes they're great movies though they're great movies oh my gosh 100% recommend them I just watched the third one the other night with Ryan did you Mm-hmm. It was, I love, that one's my favorite, I think, out it, of all of yes. them. Yes. Cry at the end of that one. We cried at that. Do we you, cry a lot. Do you remember watching Fifty Shades of Grey, the very last one together, and the way they ended it, and then I was like, what the heck was that? Because in the movie, or in the book, it ends with, like, their, sorry, spoiler alert, it ends with their kid. So, yep. the way they ended the movie, it made it look like that's not how it ended, Mm-hmm. And then it like rolled a couple credits and then cut to that scene. And I remember I just like started bawling. Bawling. It was so cute. Well, because if they would have if they would have ended that movie like that, they would have had a lot of pissed off people. And real quick, I know this like maybe we'll have another time where we talk about movies and stuff another episode. But the ending of the first movie where she's in the elevator and she's like basically leaving him and she's like uh he says Anna and she says Christian and then his elevator door closes. Uh, I was like I literally just got chills right thinking oh about my God. that. <laughs> I was like this cannot end this way even though that's the exact way that the books the first book ended. Mm-hmm. All right guys, I'm sorry if we spoiled anything for you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm... but by this time you should probably watch it. But we love movies. Maybe we'll have a movie episode. Did you guys like Twilight? What team are you on? Edward or Jacob? And did you like Fifty Shades of Grey? Let us know what you think. Yes, please let us know. Um, and with that being said, I think it's about time to uh, go ahead right over into the segment I'm most excited for. Reacting to old pictures. Oh, photos! Yes! Okay. So, I just want to start off by saying I used to edit all of my pictures on Photo Bucket. Like, 
literally all of them. I would put writings on them, like heavy contrast, heavy saturation. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. But you did great. Uh, Everybody loved them. I know. I had a couple friends that like asked me to edit their pictures for them. That's amazing. I'm so excited for this. Guys, also, by the way, just know that being middle schoolers and high schoolers, we loved taking pictures. Like, mm-hmm. we just loved it. And I really feel like this is just some advice for you out there. Take pictures while you can. Please. So you can look back on stuff like Take this. Take all of the pictures because... All of the pictures. And save them all somewhere that you're not going to lose them. Yes, because there are pictures that I wanted to look at that I know are on my MySpace that I really can't because... Well, we'll talk about that a little bit later. (laughs) (laughs) So do we want to start with um, the one with, it's one, two, three, four, five of us? Yes, let's do it. The one on our Google Drive? Yes. Okay. So bringing up this one, this picture is from middle school. Oh. I'm going to say it was our, (laughs) I'm pretty sure it's our eighth grade year. I think so, too. I think so, too. Just because the people that are in this, it's making me think it was definitely eighth grade. Eighth yes. grade. So you oh, took man. this picture. I did. You can see my little arm <laughs> extended out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were in the gym. Yeah, it in looks. In the middle school gym. Because there are lockers behind us. So in this picture, <laughs> I have my straight hair. You do with your bang. No, yeah, like straight. Not even bangs. Like I feel like they were <laughs> it looks like I cut them myself, which is terrible. And my little thin glasses. Oh, I look so bad. You look like a completely different person. I know. Um, I don't know. I think we all had gym together. I think that's why we were taking this. And I'm thinking it was like after gym or something. But there's Shayna's in this. And Jackie and Polly yeah, are with us in this picture. And while I'm just a little bit confused why Polly's full face isn't in the picture. <laughs> like, I know, my head's, like, like, blocking <laughs> half of her. But I was proud of this picture. Like, it was cute. There were five of us in it. And it's just, it's awesome to look back on this. Like, it's cool. You see the middle school lockers, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. And it's, like... You know there was a wooden bench somewhere near all of us because there were always the wooden benches in between yes, the lockers. I actually think I'm sitting on one of the benches. I'm obsessed with this picture. So it's so cute. If you look at it though, you can see like I'm wearing a cami with a zip a twilight zip up hoodie. It was my twilight yep. one. You're also wearing a zip up hoodie. A zip up hoodie. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Shayna's wearing a zip up hoodie. It looks like Polly might be wearing, like, a rainbow hoodie or yeah, something. Yeah, like, one of the tie-dye ones. Those were really big back then, too. Wow. This is just <laughs> fun to look back on. It really is. This is insane. If any of you guys are listening, this picture is amazing. And, and thank you for being in this. Yes. And I will definitely... I'll be posting these for our YouTube video, so... Yes! Definitely check that out. Okay, which one should we move to next? Let's go to the... The one with our teacher? Yes. Because we got to talk about these outfits. <sighs> we have to talk about these outfits. The Bermuda shorts. <laughs> the plaid Bermuda shorts on me. Okay, my Bermuda shorts are like two sizes too big, though. <laughs> like, look at the gap between my legs and the shorts. <laughs> You have a Hurley shirt on. I do, with a choker. Do you see my choker? And we're both wearing zip-up hoodies. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, guys, this teacher was awesome. He was. He was great. He was really cool. Um, I just can't... I look back at this, and I'm like, okay, uh, this is whenever low-rise stuff was in style. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, I'm uncomfortable because all I wear now is high-rise stuff. So I'm like, girl, pull your pants up. Like, I'm looking at me, I'm like, girl, pull those pants up. Me too. And what are you doing with that pink shirt? Why do you got a zip-up hoodie on? I'm pretty sure that was the last day of school. So it was probably hot outside. Like, why are you wearing a zip-up hoodie? At like, least I- your sleeves are pushed up. Mine are, like, down, and I I just look so awkward. <laughs> if I, okay, Just being honest right now, if I would wear that Hurley tank top now, my boobs would be popping out of it. Right? (laughs) Obviously, I wasn't 
fully developed at that point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and how are we feeling about our hair? I'm liking the I'm liking the color of mine, but I'm just confused about why it's cut that way. Like it looks like I have layers. Like I'm like, and why is my part all the way over, like on the left side of my head and parted over? Right. Like it's not even like I just don't know. Guys, this is this is weird. I'm oh. looking at this and I'm like, girl. I don't even want to talk about my hair. It looks so bad. This You is, really did straighten it a lot. This is exactly what I meant by frizzy. I would straighten my hair and then it would get frizzy and poofy. <laughs> and I had <laughs> layers and the layers looked bad. And this was before my swoopy bangs. Oh, your swoopy bangs. I'm obsessed with them. We better get to a picture with your swoopy bangs because yes. I love your swoopy bangs. I okay. almost went back to swoopy bangs, but I don't think I could great. do them now. I know. I've been debating on getting bangs, but I'm just like, uh, I better not. I better not. All right. Go ahead. Pick the next one. I'm trying to think which one comes next. I think it's either the, I think it's the one with the crane machine. Yes. Let's go to that one. I love that you okay. actually named this photo Crane Machine. Crane Machine with like five E's. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about where where this picture was taken. And it was taken at the mall. Oh yeah, you can see it in the background. I honestly didn't know where it was taken at. Yeah, the yep, the mall. And it looks like I'm not sure what store is behind it. I can't really tell. It looks like to me it looks like a bunch of business chairs. I thought mm-hmm. it was in the hallway where FYE was. But I guess not, because I don't see... Is it in... Was it, like, over by where the one entrance is? Over by, like, where the shoe sensation is now? Yeah, where that the might arcade be where used to be? Yep, I think that's what it is. The arcade in Jean Carlos that had the huge slices of pizza for, like, a dollar. Yes. Oh, I missed that. But let's talk about the pose that you're making. Oh my gosh, I know, like, the the whole, like, lean out with my hands, like, pretending to touch my hair that isn't even long enough to be down there. <laughs> Again, friends, if I would do that now, you would see a whole lot of boobage. <laughs> isn't that true, though? <laughs> and in and this picture... Yes, in this picture, my hair is actually curly, I think. It looks good. And, oh, and you have on that necklace the shell necklace? The puka shell necklaces? Yes. Those were another big one. I wore that all the time. And it was cute. Everybody loved them. I think wow. that's... This was when um, scrunching your hair with, like, half a can of mousse was a cool thing to do. Oh, my gosh. Guys, so my hair is very, like, straight and very, like... Not curly. So I remember one time I tried to scrunch my hair. And this girl looks at me and goes, you do realize that is not scrunched hair. And ever (laughs) since then, I didn't do it again. I didn't do it again in eighth grade. I I refuse to scrunch my hair. So, Nikki, I give you props for your hair looking that cute scrunch. Because obviously I couldn't do it. Well, Cass, I'm just going to be honest. My hair looks like that without mousse in it. (laughs) So it wasn't, like, it was complicated. <laughs> Lucky. Can we talk about your pose, though? Because, like, I think you're looking cute, looking like a Thanks. little model. Thanks, girl. I got the hair thing going on. I got my phone whipped up. What phone is that? Is that, like, the LG? Or is that the? Alias 2. Alias 2. That's what it is. I freaking loved that phone. Because it was the one that could flip up regular, and you could flip to the side to have a keyboard. Yes, those phones are so cool. I wish smartphones were more like that now, you know what I mean? Like all, Not all touchscreen. Every phone you get is, like, touchscreen, rounded edges. Now they're getting away from buttons altogether. Yep. It's insane. It is insane. Because let's be real. What is more fun to look at? My phone here. Or that phone that's in my hand. If yeah. I had to pick, I'd say the other one. <laughs> I agree. That's a good but one. And I think we were picture. very creative because we took it in a, like, crane machine window. Right? That was very artsy. Like, a little bit edgy, maybe. It's perfect. Okay. I love it. Should we talk about the shadow picture now? Yes, let's talk about the shadow picture. I absolutely love this picture. Like, I do, too. It's cute, and it's, like... 
I don't know. It's like silhouettes, but it's like you're in the middle, I'm on the right, and like our friend Shane is on the left. Mm -hmm. And it was like around that time of day where the sun started going down, so it was the perfect time of day to do this. And I here I am again with my head, my hand touching my head. Yeah. That must have been like a signature thing. And I think your hair is curly. I think it is too. I'm I feel like this it. was almost the same day as the crane machine picture. You know what? It could have been. And we might have been waiting for our other friend mm -hmm. when we took the crane machine picture. Do you want to know what this picture gives me the feels of? What? Do you remember Totally Spies? Yes! That's what this picture reminds oh, me of. Oh my gosh. That's definitely Totally Spies vibes. Yeah. I, I'm obsessed. I love this picture. Like, and the funny, we're going to talk about this a little bit more later in a different podcast, but like, I was so skinny back then. Me too. And do you remember, sorry, <laughs> my husband just turned on all of our lights with our Alexa and it was, he didn't say anything, so it was weird. Anywho, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just, I look so skinny, but I remember thinking I was so big. Oh, me too. I thought I was humongous. Like, I'm looking at my, just my body shape in this picture, and I'm like, wow. I wish I looked like that now. I know, I'm like, dang, I have some curves, but I'm not huge. Like, I'm like, looking at myself, I'm like, okay, I see you, young Cass. Right. So I we're in the shorty shorts. <laughs> Bermuda shorts. In the Bermuda short. So, we're doing a whole episode on body issues, so I don't want to get, like, too deep into that, but we'll definitely be talking about that later in a different podcast. Yes. yes. It's not one you want to miss. You're going to, I don't know about you, but it's going to be all the feels that day. Yeah, there might be a couple tears. Who knows? There might be. <laughs> but, um, this picture was up by the old Kmart. Yes, if you live in Dubois or have ever been around Dubois and you know where the old Kmart is... That's, this is that brick wall. Yes, we walked from the mall up to Kmart. I miss those days. It seems like anytime we hung out with Shayna, it was like we were always going to go for a walk somewhere. Like we were going to go walk on an adventure yes, or something. I agree. And it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, guys, that's a good picture. We were just living our best lives. Um, I'm trying, which one is going to be next? Uh, on the timeline. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Is it the Fred one? I think so. I think the Fred and the Puff Mama one is 8th grade, and then after that, I think they're all freshmen. Freshman year. Freshman year. So let's go to the Fred one. Okay, this is when I started with the Swoopy Bangs. Yes. What did you have in your hand? What is that drink? <laughs> that is a monster, which I would never drink now because I think they're disgusting. A monster energy drink. Yes, I used to drink those, and oh, what were the ones? They were like big cans, and you'd pop, like, they would pop. Jolt. And, Jolt. That Jolt. was it. I used to drink those, those all the time, too. Ugh. Oh, again, guys, with the zip-up hoodies. <laughs> I've got a zip-up hoodie with, like, a zebra, a blue zebra shirt, and you have, it looks like a zip-up rain, or er, windbreaker. It was from my dance studio. It was my dance studio jacket. Wow. With a white shirt and a green cami under it. And that, oh, you'll see the star necklace in a couple other pictures, but it was, like, this awesome holographic star necklace that I got from Hot Topic, and it made me think I was so cool. Oh, man. I think I have on, like, the bead, a bead necklace, a rainbow bead necklace or something. I don't know. But, guys, I'm telling you, if I had a dollar for every time I'm wearing a zip-up hoodie in a picture, I would be a rich woman. <laughs> I wouldn't need a job. <laughs> we start getting away from zip-up hoodies more in high school, I feel like. Yes, we start showing off our body a little bit more <laughs> in a good way because the reason the and we'll talk about this on the next episode too. The big reason why I always wore the zip up hoodies is because I didn't want anybody to see my body because I was self conscious. Me too. So when I broke away from that, it's kind of like I was starting to become more confident myself. But like I said, we'll get into that next time. But that's what I meant by starting to show our bodies a little more because I was very self conscious. But. Oh, wait, Anyways. should we talk about the caption on this picture? OMG, it's oh, Fred. Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, Nikki. So we have, we have this friend. His name's Keith. Keith, if you listen to this, shout out to you. But 
Cass and I, if you remember the Fred videos on YouTube, they were huge. <laughs> Cass and I thought he looked like Fred from the YouTube videos. So we saw him at the mall. He walked by. For some reason, we didn't say anything to him because we're weird. We were weird. And one of us was like, OMG, it's Fred. So then we just kept <laughs> saying that all night long. And all like night. I said, I used to put like random captions on pictures. So that's why that's oh, on there. Man. We really thought he looked just like Fred. And that was in Raw. I'm pretty sure we saw him in Ross. I'm pretty sure that's where we were and we saw him. I think you're right. Good times, man. Good times. Keith, good. if you're listening, it was nice, you know, those couple of times that we got to hang out and really get close. And I wish it was still that way. We miss you. Sad faces. Okay. Uh, do we want to go to the Puff Mama? Yes. All right. I we love got, this uh, picture. Hey, hey, Puff Mama. This was taken in Staples. It is in Staples. I think my brother used to work there at that time. Yes. Oh, and we got the star hologram necklace again. Yep. And my hair is scrunched with it half a can of mousse. And mine is straightened. Oh, can we talk about how I have, like, my bangs pulled back right down the middle? <laughs> that was a big fad, doing that and then making the snooky poof. Yes, I could never do the poof, so I never did Neither. it. I think I only ever did a couple times, but it never looked good. But, like, but we're both wearing gray shirts. No zip-up hoodies this time. No zip-up hoodies. And I'm a brunette. Yeah, and I have decent-looking glasses. <laughs> I like those glasses. I, I do, really too. do. I had those glasses for so many years because they I were really my like favorite. Them. I didn't have any glasses on. My eyes were still good at that point. Lucky. I so, Now I, it's like... Mm. After middle school, I learned about contacts and got contacts, so... Contacts are the best. But, but yeah. this is a great picture, uh, answering the phone, because that's what we used to do, pretend to answer the phone, take pictures of it, document it. And I'm glad we got this picture. It's so cute. I love this one. It reminds... So, like, my brother worked at Staples for a long time, and I remember we would just go over and, like, talk to him and bother him and play around Staples for a while until he was done with work. Wow. That's I what that reminds days. me of. Hey, Matt, if you're listening... Hey. Hey. <laughs> but we, yeah, that's a cute one. We miss when you worked at Staples and we would come bother you. We do. I miss Staples. Womp womp. Womp womp. Oh, okay, so I... Th- wait. We didn't talk about the caption, Hey Puff Mama. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Puff Mama. So, if you listen to... I think it was our first video we talked about I this. I think it was, too. Our video. First podcast. So, Cass and I did a video way back in the day called Puff Mama and Donna where oh, we, no. where we recreated a scene from Spongebob um if you would like to see that please let us know we would we'll DM you we will the link yes we really will and that's just always been an ongoing thing for us so that's hey, why Puff that, Mama. yeah that's why the captions <laughs> on there cracks me up i love it i love it love it love it uh yeah that's a good one are there any more from middle school i think the rest of these kind of look like they're i think the one with the yoshi picture is still middle school i'm pretty sure okay i am obsessed with this picture (laughs) and there are a couple of reasons why and i'll point them out real quick first of all your nv3 is popping with that phone case. The polka dotted phone case. I'm obsessed with it. Another reason is because you drew my favorite Mario character. I did. And a third reason is, back in the day, it used to be a huge fad to make a sign for someone and take a picture with it and upload it on MySpace and do, like, at whoever or so-and-so owns this pic. And I just think it's really cool that you made me one, and it's just, it's so cute. Thanks. I know. I'm obsessed with it. This picture, like, is the epitome of my eighth grade year for sure. I'm obsessed. (laughs) Because I used to, like, wear dark colors and straighten Mm -hmm. my hair all the time. And you'll notice once we get more into our high school pictures, I stop straightening my hair. I don't wear glasses anymore. I get my braces off. Like, there's so many things that change from middle school to high school for me. And this picture right here is 100% middle school Nikki. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. And your makeup, too. Your makeup's dark. Very dark. 
I love it. Guys, if you want us to make you a sign, let us know. Or if you want to make us a Two Wives, One World sign. Oh my gosh, yes, I would love that. Please make us signs. (laughs) I love it. Thank you for making that drawing for me, Nikki. I'm obsessed with it. No problem. Okay, so should we go to We Put the Fresh and Freshman? Oof, yes, we should. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, oh again with the zip up hoodie. The zip up hoodie and the ripped jeans. And the ripped jeans. Those are actually Miley Cyrus jeans from Walmart. No FYI. way. FYI. They are. Um, this picture is really cool to look back on because it's like, I don't know. I feel like we've kind of changed a little bit in these pictures, but it's like we're still kind of like doing with a corny, like, we put the fresh and freshman title and like, it's cool to look back and remember who you were friends with, like who you were close with at one, at one point. And I really think that just sums it up. Like how many friends you really have and stuff like that. So I think that's why I like this a lot. I agree. And like, I look at this picture. This is when I first got contacts, I believe because I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't see without my glasses. I'm completely blind. So, um, I'm pretty sure I was wearing, fake Ugg boots in this picture. The bear claw ones? Is that what they were called? Bear I claw? think so. Love them. And then I also have ripped jeans on, but mine aren't as ripped as yours. <laughs> and I remember that blue sweater. It was like a a royal blue with like light blue sleeves and I absolutely loved it. I think it was from American Eagle. Super cute. I would wear that now. I would too, actually. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. Oh, and the signature sticking your tongue out? Yes. Why am I the only... Oh, no, the other... The one girl in this picture isn't sticking her tongue out either. Wow. I think we went bowling later that night. No, I think that was a different night. Like, I think there was a time where we were really close with those other girls in this picture. That's crazy to look back on. It is. Guys... We really are happy that we can share this stuff with you because it's like we look at this while entertaining you, but it really brings back a lot of memories for us. So thank you guys for letting us share these these pictures with you because it, it's like bringing back a lot of memories for it us. Is. It's like, really nice. For real. It's nice to it's adorable. Also, who's taking that picture? Um, Do you have any idea? I want to say it was Hunter's boyfriend at the time. I feel like it might have been. I think it was because I don't know. I just feel like that's who it was. Wow. Wow. Okay. I could say wow about a hundred more times about that picture, (laughs) but let's go ahead and go to one of my favorite ever. Uh, The one with you holding up your phone in the wash your hand. It says wash your hands. Wash your hands. I love this picture because I feel like this picture really shows the big changes that we're kind of going through. My hair is really long, um, starting to, I don't know what I did with it to make it look like that. Another zip up, another zip up jacket. I'm telling you, I can't go wrong with it, but you like, you look adorable, your hair, you're starting to straighten your hair less. Mm -hmm, and you're embracing the glasses you're pinning over your bangs like I just think this is a really cute picture like it's it's really adorable it is it's cute of both wait a second wait a second was this a double date were we on a double date I feel like we might have been on a double date in this picture yes and I feel like we were like we have to go to the bathroom because you know girls like to go to the bathroom together and oh. I don't know. I don't know why mm. I wrote wash your hands on it either. I think it was just because, like, in all the bathroom pictures, like, in all the bathrooms, in the bathroom? like, wash your hand signs. But I really think this is adorable. I really like this picture. Yeah, this really, like, shows changes that we're going through. Like, that shirt. I remember loving that shirt. It's really cute. I like that. Thanks. And I if stopped I have- wearing, like, the emo kind of necklaces. Yeah, and started wearing, like, more of the, like, dainty, longer ones. Mm -hmm. It's just, like, I don't know. I'm feeling both of our hair in this picture. I am, too. I like both of our hair. Your hair looks awesome in this picture. Thank you. 
Um, okay. I guess. The one next yeah. to it? Yeah, let's In the other mirror? It. Can I just say the editing, though? <laughs> it's key on this pic. The high contrast is my the favorite. The high contrast. We both have fake Uggs on. I know mine aren't real Uggs. I've never owned a pair of real Uggs. Um, sweatpants. Sweats? Tucked in sweatpants into your boots. <laughs> Zip up jackets. <laughs> Zip up jackets. Sticking my tongue out and a bathroom pick. The high school bathroom pick. I feel like this was in high school. We were in oh the bathroom gosh. for something. Yep. Oh my goodness. Why do I feel like this was... No. I was going to say I feel like this was right before I started dating Justin, but I don't think it was. I feel like this is like... I don't know if that's our freshman year. I don't remember. Do you think that's our freshman year? I feel like we might be a little bit older. Like sophomore, maybe. It might be sophomore year. But we look adorable. You still have that phone, though, with the same case, so maybe not. I had that phone for a long time. It's adorable. I'm obsessed with it. I wish we could get those phones back. I do, too. I mean, I still have that. Dang. (laughs) I do. That'd be amazing to get our old phones back up and text and stuff on them. I agree. My hair, like, I don't. I don't understand because, like, I remember my mom always saying, like, she couldn't wait to have a girl so she could do her hair. And then my mom always cut my hair short, and I just always kept it short. <laughs> like, this I is like the it. longest my hair's ever been. Your hair is super long now. But, like, you always rocked the short haircuts. Thanks. I think you I'm going back. So cute. I think I'm going back to short hair sometime here soon. That'd be cute. I was thinking about going brunette again, but I doubt that's ever going to happen. <laughs> Um, hmm. anything else you want to say about this one? I don't think so. I just think it's adorable. Like Me too. We oh, look so cute. Oh, oh, I'm excited for this next one. Me too. The football one? Me too. Okay, so this was definitely... Uh, I don't know what year this is. I want to say this is our freshman year. Or That's sophomore. insane. You know, no, I think it was freshman because... You have braces in this picture. I do. Yep. So it would be freshman year. So if any of you have ever gone to like a Dubois high school football game, when we were in high school, it was cool to wear like the low cut, um, like tank tops with a couple more tank tops under it that were school colors. Sophie, Sophie shorts, Sophie shirt shorts, whatever they were called. High socks. <laughs> With body paint. Yep, it was the cool thing to do. Oh, okay. Joy just wanted to put her input in on this picture. She's like, yes, I remember that so vividly. <laughs> <laughs> but you want to know what makes me so sad, though? Is if you go to a high school football game, at least back home in Dubois, you don't see this anymore. Like, no. you barely see any kids there. And the football game was the place to be on a Friday night. It was. Everybody was there. Everybody was there. It was a good time. Oh, man. I remember cutting that shirt so like, make it into a cut-off tank top. Mm-hmm. And I remember... Oh, man. That was a good time. That I, was a good... It's so funny because, like, <laughs> we, we were not, like, big on football games, but we still dressed up. So, like, you know that the girls that were really... The girls and guys that were really into the football games, they went harder than what we did, and we went pretty hard in this picture. We went hard. They, like, would paint their whole body. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. I love it. Our high school football was amazing. I'm obsessed with it. All right. Oh, and our friend Melissa's in it. Yes, Melissa is in it. She's in the middle. I think it's time to go to Facebook now. Yeah. Oh, let's do it. This one's going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. Okay. So, let's go and look. See what we got. Do we want to start with the, I think it's junior year. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see, junior year. So, as you guys know, me and Cass have been friends since middle school. So, the farthest back I could find pictures was 8th grade, but I'm sure there were so many more than that. So many more. That we just couldn't find. This is just, like, a slight taste of our friendship, too. Like, this doesn't even cover half of it. Agreed. It's amazing. All right. So, 
What pitcher do you have junior year open? No, I'm still my Facebook is taking forever. Okay. That's okay. Okay. Your albums. And if any of you are friends with me on Facebook and want to take a look at my old pictures, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um yeah, just scroll all the way down and check out my old pictures cuz I didn't delete any of them. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Junior year. Okay, so when you open up your junior year album, what picture really stands out to you? The what very, picture do you like? The very first one. Oh, yes. That's a good one. This was also at a football game. And I'm another pretty, zip up jacket. I'm pretty <laughs> yeah, another zip up. <laughs> We're wearing the same shirts we wore in the last picture. Oh my gosh, yes we are. Just two years later. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'm obsessed. I love it. Oh, you got a new phone. I did. I you did. That was phone. the Cosmo Touch, I think. Ooh, that was a good phone. That and was good this phone. was right before I met Justin. Aw. That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, you mean like the it's crazy. And then that picture, the third picture over. Aw. That's the same day. It's just in my mom's car. <laughs> That's a cute one. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. That's like when you didn't wear makeup. Yeah, I barely wore any makeup ever. And where I just had eyeliner on. Go me for not wearing mascara ever. I'm <laughs> obsessed with it. And we both have really cute necklaces on. Oh, mm-hmm. I, wish we, I wish I still had that necklace. Um, The one that sticks out for me. Oh, well, can't talk about that one. Awkward. Um... <laughs> I really like the glue stick one. Yes, the glue stick picture. The glue stick picture is really cute. And can we talk about your makeup in this picture? It's adorable. You the have the blue eyeshadow. Bright blue eyeshadow. It's really cute. My bright blue eyeshadow. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> what else do we have here? There are a couple of pictures on here I'd like to talk about, but it's just bad memories. Yeah. With um, some people. <laughs> there's a there's the picture next to the glue stick picture. That's a cute one. The Hooters hoodie. I used to love wearing my Hooters hoodie. You did, and that made me want to go to Hooters. And I've still never been to Hooters, and I just really want to try their wings. Their food was amazing. And um, you're you're wearing what? A Steelers jersey? A Steelers jersey. I think that I don't even know what I don't even know what's going on in this picture, but you can definitely tell that I didn't wear makeup. Like I have not an ounce of makeup on in these pictures, and it's like, ooh, why am I holding my ponytail like that? I don't know. I'm literally like, <laughs> <laughs> and my ba- my swoopy bangs are in this picture. Yes, guys, I am obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with those bangs. And I always wanted swoopy bangs, but I could never get them like that. Those are just so cute. I don't know how I did it, to be honest. Like, I wish I could do it again, but my, I don't have the ambition. I know, right? It's like, ugh, I don't feel like putting bobby pins in my hair every day and all that. <laughs> Can That's we talk so about cute. the one picture of me in the front, you in the back, and then you're pointing to this kid on the computer? Yes, let's talk about this. And also, I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm just going to, oh, never mind. That's the wrong kid. I was going to tell a story, but it's not that person. But, um, okay, so this person was dating one of our good friends. And I just don't feel like I was really friends with this person. And, like, I don't know. I felt like I was being a little bit annoying towards him, to be honest. <laughs> like, I feel like he never really liked me, if I'm being real. <laughs> like, Well, the funny thing is, is... I feel like we took this picture and then it started a whole thing of trying to get pictures of each other where we weren't paying attention because this person yep. has pictures of me where I'm not paying attention to things. And I think there's multiple pictures of him in here where he's not paying attention. That is hilarious. <laughs> I is. love it. Okay, let's see. Oh, this picture, the sweatpants picture. Oh, yes. See, and I don't have a zip-up hoodie on. No zip-up hoodie. Oh, your hair is straight with the swoop bangs. 
Go me. I wonder why I did that. I never straightened my hair in high school. Dang. I would do boys track and field pair of sweatpants on. Yeah, you do. And the Ben Friedel. Oh, uh, I wish I knew where that shirt is. I can't find it anywhere. So, if you don't know what the Ben Friedel game is, it, um, did it go towards a scholarship? I think so. Okay, so Ben Friedel, he was a teacher, right? Mm -hmm. That passed away. And um, Du Bois High School always had a basketball game near the end of the year where it was students versus teachers. And it was always so much fun to go and watch. And the money that they raised for it, they they put into a scholarship fund that a student could win. I love this wow. picture. I think I'm wearing Marcy School too. of Dance sweatpants. That is so cute. Or Justin's sweatpants. I think I was dating Justin at this time. Oh, Aww. no, I wasn't. It was in September. We started dating in October. <laughs> oh, dang it. So they were, they were my sweatpants. My hair is pretty short in this picture compared to all the other ones. It is. Oh, my gosh. The picture after this one, you're not oh, in boy. it, but I'm pretty sure you were there for this picture. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know if I want to go into detail about this. Uh, <laughs> maybe, um, okay, so let's just sum it up real quick. Let's just say uh, it was late at night and we went for an adventure. Yes. It, yeah. it was quite an adventure. It that, was, uh... And there's still stuff in my mom's um, <laughs> bushes from this night, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Um, it was a creepy night too, not gonna lie. It was pretty creepy. Like <laughs> it was uh but it was a good night. It was cool, it was fun, it was uh experimental, it was Look at me rocking the A C D C shirt and the plaid um pajama pants. Yes. The pajama pants. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> also at this point in our lives, we were I feel like I was well, not really because I was in a I feel like we very much liked attention from guys. At least that's how I was. Yeah. I kind of feel like that was both of us at that time. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I think we're starting to get into the um, breast cancer awareness. Because... Yes. And that's one of my favorites. So, this picture, we decided to make um, cut off black shirts. With pink hand prints that said I love boobies on them because our high school was having a breast cancer awareness um, game. So we made those shirts, wore pink camis under them, and had ripped jeans. And when I say ripped jeans, I mean they should have just been shorts at that point. They were ripped. I don't even know why I came out of the house looking like that because it was bad. <laughs> but these pictures are awesome. They are. And we made these shirts on my mom's back porch. She still has pink paint on the porch from it. There is still paint. And you know what? I think that's awesome because it's a reminder of, hey, we made this memory here. That's true. And I love it. I love it. That's uh, very I think true. my favorite out of all of the breast cancer awareness pictures, though, are the ones, or, or is the one with me, you, and Coon. Yes. I love I'm obsessed that with that picture. <laughs> Just because, like, okay, so Kuhn is my stepdad, who is absolutely the most amazing man I've ever met. He's my, he's amazing. Um, he literally did everything and anything we would want him to do, and he took this picture with us. And I will post it because it's so funny. Um, but we're pretty much just like holding our boobs and Coon is doing the same thing with us. <laughs> also in that picture I just want to point out we both have the same exact nail color so we must have done our nails too. We must have. I love the picture. I just love all the pictures but like specifically the one where um, the one we tried to recreate where my arm's over you and you're like yes. leaning into me or the it's one where so you're picking cute. my leg up yes, and we're making like so peace cute. signs. Oh my gosh. I'm so obsessed. I missed that night. That was a fun night. Oh, these pictures are so much fun to look at. Wow. Good so, times, man. Good times. I feel like we have so many pictures that 
I feel like this podcast could go on for like hours and hours. I know. So I'm thinking we do one more. Okay. And call it a day and I'll post some extra ones on our YouTube video for you guys to look at because they're a hoot. Yes, they're hilarious. Okay, I just want to say real quick, there's a picture of me that I'm looking at and I'm like, dang, I was skinny. Which one? And it's the picture of me, you, and Mr. Craig. Oh, I love that picture. I'm obsessed with that picture. But I'm obsessed with what I look like. I had swoop bangs and I looked tiny. Is that the end of our is that like over by the junior year? Is that the yep. year album? It's the it's the it looks like it's like the last picture. Well, almost the last picture of junior year. So Mr. Craig was our um high school photography slash what else did he do? Digital arts teacher. Yes. And he is still from still to today my favorite teacher because he just made us feel so welcome and so important in his classroom. Mm-hmm. He was an amazing guy. He was. I really loved him. I think he teaches in elementary school now. Oh, good for him. Go you, Mr. Craig. We love you. We hope you listen to this. But, yeah, I think, oh, you know another picture that I really like of us? Which one? I'm wearing a Pikachu shirt, and we're, like, I think we were in stats. I'm, we're both making, like, weird faces. Is that still junior year? Yes. Let's see. I don't know if I can see that one. It's right after the picture of you, me, and Melissa from Halloween. Oh, yes! That one is so cute! I love this picture because it, like, (laughs) it just describes how we acted in high school so well. Yes, and our friendship. Like, we always know how to make each other laugh. Like, let's please talk about your marble ring real quick. Oh, yes. Okay, so, it was a big fad, and you also have the marble necklace. I do. basically what it is is... It's a ring with quite literally a marble in it. And you can switch that marble out to any other, like, color that you have. And it was super cool because it's, like, it would complement any outfit that you wore. And you have the necklace version of it, which is awesome. And I love it. Yeah, Justin and, it and I just, both do. It was a huge fad. That was another one of those things where a lot of people had it. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just obsessed with it. I love it. I love it. I think, honestly... I think we should stop there because <laughs> okay. like I said we could literally go on for hours oh my gosh literally and I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for four or five hours just us talking about all of our pictures <laughs> even though we have so many we could just go on and on and on yeah we really could um but I think with that we should do our rant of the day yes let's do it Nikki do you want to go first yeah I think I will Okay, go ahead. Let's hear what's really grinding your gears today. So, I think with the topic of uh, middle schoolers and how awkward we looked and all that stuff, I want to talk about how middle schoolers today are not awkward. Like, no. They literally look like Kylie Jenner. <sighs> like, my girl, you're supposed to go through an awkward age where you wear awkward Bermuda shorts, weird tank tops, and... Zip up hoodies. Yep, I agree 100%. Like and sh- it, go ahead. They shouldn't be wearing booty shorts with crop tops and. <sighs> and do full blown makeup tutorials and all that. <laughs> yeah, have lash extensions. Right? It's like, no, you need to wear the slip up sweatshirts just like we did. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. How do they not look awkward? <laughs> it's like they're, they're like, the girls are so cute. Like, I was like, I was awkward. I guess this is more of a rant about how awkward I was in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like everybody looked like what we did, though. So I don't know if it's, like, the fads or what. Who knows? <sighs> I don't know. But true, girl. I feel that. My rant is that middle schoolers should look ugly, and they don't. <laughs> 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 I guess. <laughs> I love it. 
But I'm dying um, to mine, know what yours is. Mine is something that I feel like like younger listeners aren't going to understand. But if there are people that like, went to high school and stuff with us, they're going to understand. It's the fact that MySpace basically completely is like a completely different website. It's like you can't even log into your MySpace and see your pictures. At least I can't. It's like MySpace should have never switched platforms and it should have just stayed the way it was. And if it was going to change, at least let us see our pictures. Yes. Or somehow have access to them. Because there's just so many memories on there. And it just makes me so upset because I want to look back on it, but MySpace ruined it. So that's my, that's my, uh, rant to the day i i mean i 100 percent agree i wish i could get back into my myspace but i have no idea how to get on to it anymore right and it's like i i i bet if you would even try to like relocate your password or whatever, or whatever my supposed to be like oh sorry just recreate a new one and it's like i don't want to recreate a new one i, I want to look my at my old, old one <laughs> But yeah, that's my rant. Guys, what is grinding your gears this week? What is really just getting under your skin? We're dying to know. We're dying to know. We're looking and hopefully for if you some listened, rants. Yes. And if you listened to last week's, we said that we would rant about you not ranting. So I hope that you rant. Because if not, we're going to rant about you. Feel you the rant. The Feel the wrath Feel of the rant. rants. <laughs> I love it. But we had so much fun doing this. It was fun to kind of look back on our life and our friendship. And it really helps us just remember, like, hey, we've been through so much. And I'm very grateful for it. And if you liked this podcast, let us know. And we have so many more pictures that we could talk about. So, yes, never ending pictures. Let us know. And also, I'm hoping, Cash, you're coming home, what, in November? Yes. We're hoping to maybe get some, like, pictures for our podcast together. That would be amazing. Yeah, or maybe we can actually do a podcast together. Oh, that like, would be Like, in amazing. the same place. Heck, yes! That would be <laughs> so much fun. Ryan and Justin can, like, play video games or something while we record it. <laughs> Agreed. They can play Smash together. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. All right, guys, we hope that you really enjoyed this. We hope that we kept you entertained and maybe you did like a flashback for you to um, let us know. Like we said, Facebook, YouTube, we're on Apple podcast, uh, Spotify, Anchor, all of that fun stuff. So make sure you find us. Make sure you have access to us and let us know what you think we're dying to know. Please post some of your old awkward photos, too, to make us feel a little bit better about ours. <laughs> Yes, please. We're dying to see them. So thank you for hanging out with us for like the hour and a half that we've been rambling on. We really appreciate you and everything you do for us by listening to us and hanging out with us for an hour every week. We really enjoy it. Um, yeah, Cass, I, I love doing this with you and I'm so glad we get to do this together. Oh, me too. And it's really nice to having everybody listen and be a part of our lives and just reminisce on stuff is so much fun. I can't wait until we could possibly do the podcast in person. It's going to be so fun. I agree. Um, and guys, please interact with us. Please, please, please. It's so much fun. We love reading the comments. We really do. So this has been awesome. I'm Nikki. And I'm Cassidy. And this is... Two, Two wives, wives, one, one world. world. Talk to you guys next time. Bye. See ya. Bye.